Okay, here's the um, <coughs> next video. Um, we've got to put in this last piece here, so we'll put it in right here. Okay. Um, target dot step count. And we'll say step count equals math dot seal. And this is, uh, I think that's short for math.ceiling, essentially, which is means uh, round up. So whatever's in between these two parentheses is round up. What we had before was round down. And then what they're going to round is the number in route desk array item 6. And this comes straight out of their game, divided by 3, plus route desk 6 divided by score plus 1. And how did they come up with this? Well, they probably just um, hacked it out one step at a time. Um, now, what is this going to do? This is going to speed up the um, the step count for how many steps, how many frames it takes for the target to run across the stage. And as the score goes up, right, as the score goes up, then the targets will run faster. So every time you get a uh, score for um, shooting a um, target, then the targets will speed up. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to keep this for our game since it's going to be a shooting gallery and not a uh, shooter game like they had. So my game is going to be a bit different. So I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, in the long run. So we'll have to just wait and see on that one. Okay, and then, um, so that's it for the um, target, right, for the um, get new route. So that takes care of this function right here, get new route, right, that we've called, and then we wrote it down here. So that will choose our route. Now, what happens once we have a route is that target state will turn to 1, and we'll want to move the target. So now we have to write the move target function. Okay, and so we'll go two lines down here. Function move target. Open and close parentheses. Open curly brace. Close curly brace. And target dot underscore x plus equal, and this will be the amount that we're going to move it. And this is pretty good stuff here. This is this is definitely programming here. It's kind of fun. Uh, target dot rx, which is the uh, route x destination, minus target dot underscore x. So we're going to move the target, the difference uh, between the route destination and where we're at on the x. And then we're also going to divide it so it doesn't happen all at once by, anybody can guess? the step count. Target dot step count. Okay, so we divide it by the step count. So there's the first piece, and we're going to do the same thing for the Y. So we'll just copy that and paste that there. And all right. And then we're going to also need to do that for the um, scale as well. Um, Let's see here. Target dot underscore x scale equals target dot underscore y scale, which equals, oh, and we, we don't want to equal it, we want to plus equal it, meaning we want to um, add to this and then increment. So add and then retotal. Add and then retotal the variable, essentially. Uh, or in this case, not the variable, the property. The property be, will be retotaled once we um, do the math here. So, um, and for the scale, it'll be, and this is pretty good stuff here too, target dot rs which is the um, route scale, the, the scale that we're going towards, minus target dot underscore x scale. 
and we're going to divide that by target dot step count so it happens incrementally okay and after that we need to reduce the step count so I'm gonna go two lines down since this is important step count minus minus which is the same thing as minus one and then at the end there's one if statement that needs to go in if open and I like to write out the formula for the if and this if will also have an else okay okay let's see here close that all right if target dot step count equal equals zero and this is my piece right here target dot oh, target not dot target capital S state equals zero all right and else target state equals one and so what we do here is at the end is we we minus our step count the step count is going to go uh, down 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 and if the target step count equals zero we set the target state to zero which will get us a new route else we set the target state back to one or uh, we keep it at one and then when we um, call the function um, up here when we call the play game function uh, target state will be get put into there and it'll stay at one and we'll just continue moving the target and we'll continue running this last function over and over again uh, until the target reaches its destination step count equals zero and we'll get a new route okay I hope that was um, I hope that was pretty clear if let's see if it runs I might have some scripting errors and uh, some syntax errors click here, click go 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 and it's not moving. So there's some type of scripting error which I'm going to have to find, but I'll have to show that to you in the next movie.